Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the uh, Final Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Jordan from uh, Viewing Under Influence. Uh, this is wax capped, and it is one of the thickest wax caps I've ever seen. There's a good uh, centimeter, maybe centimeter and a half of wax at some points of this. The rest of it's like a couple millimeters thick. Uh, I did go at it. I don't have any knives around the table today. So I did go at it. Actually, I have one. I did go at it a little bit with the uh, with the snake bite bottle opener, which is fairly sharp, and I was able to nick out a groove. So what do we have here? We have from Alberta the Brewsters Blue Monk Barley Wine, 2014 vintage, in Calgary, Alberta. Brewsters.ca, Brewsters Brewing Company, 9.5% alcohol by volume, and this is said to be a American barley wine, so it being older should take some of the uh, hot bite out of it. No, I still didn't get enough of it off. Okay. So we'll take this guy and we'll work our way around with the knife. There we go. Got it off. Again, that's pretty thick fucking uh, wax there. So, now we will take the cap off. I'm actually surprised it didn't explode over the top because this got shook a lot. And it's a new cap for the fridge. It does have, say Brewsters on it. surface. Okay, I expected a little more carbonation to be honest with you. Especially with the amount of wax on here, there was no way any air was getting out. So I did expect a little more uh, a little more carbonation. There's not really much moving in there either. But uh, that's okay. Beautiful, beautiful reddish color. Nice amber hue. Smell? Hmm. Okay. So out of the glass, you kind of get that American barley wine scent. You get you get the huge, huge malt notes, sweet caramel, some molasses, and just a nice roasted malt, and a, a dulled out because of, probably because of the age, but a dulled out like piney note on the back end. Out of the bottle. Oh my God! There's almost coconut in here, Joe. Almost, almost. It, it kind of has like a nougat smell. Yeah, sweet, kind of like candy and chocolate mixed together. Uh, for me, I like the smell of the bottle more than the glass because the bottle smells more like a uh, English barley wine, just super sweet, long-lasting fruitiness. Let's try it. Cheers. There was some blue wax floating in my drink. <laughs> okay, medium, robust flavors. The hoppiness on this from it being an American barley wine are completely dulled out. This is basically an English barley wine. I mean, even what's left hop-wise, just taste dirty and muddy and, and sand like um, so the hop hop profile in this very akin to an English barley wine forefront caramel molasses a little bit of treacle um, some like black strap molasses as well just huge huge forefront of malt uh, middle 
it's still that malt, but now it's turning into a roast, and a roast plus a, a very dirty, lingering finish. And by dirty, I mean like earthy uh, English hops. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I mean, if you ever had sand in your mouth, or you ever uh, ate a mud pie, or anything like that, that type of thing, just earthy earthy coppery copper coin like too yeah like uh like you're sucking on a penny almost beautiful beautiful beer in all honesty beautiful beer all around at a 2014 vintage i'm curious what would have happened to this if i had sat on it for a year or more still on, on top of this because I, I feel that the malts are just starting to turn into their own and the hops are just starting to fade back and remember this is 9.5 percent alcohol by volume this is a very very dangerous beer because there's not one bit of warming to it this is probably one of the best made uh, barley wines I've had in a little in in the last few months at least because of that because the alcohol percentage is completely and utterly hidden out of 10 on this I would easily give this a uh, what would I give that? That is really good. I really like it. I can drink it all the time. Um, you know what? I'm going to just go out and give it a 9 out of 10. It is a great, great barley wine. It's a 9. It is a 9, boys! Uh, yeah, it's, it's not the most mind-blowing barley wine, but it is so well mixed, so well balanced, and it just sits so well on the palate that I have to give it that mark. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. Bye.